Welcome back to part two. And if you haven't already seen part one, then I suggest to go over on my channel and watch the first part of this. But this is day two, part two of my surgery vlogs. And this day was basically test day. Okay, let's see how many times we can poke me with a needle and explode a vein. It's really, really fun. With it being the day before my operation, I had a lot of tests. So I got in early morning because I actually slept at the hotel because they didn't have a bed for me the night before. So I was actually meant to sleep on the ward, but luckily with my mum's hotel, I managed to stay there. We got up really early, we were at the ward, welcomed me with a blood test and the lovely lady who did do my blood test or tried to, um, as soon as she tried to get blood out of me, she exploded my vein. So she tried three times and failed. This will be a common theme in this video. There's a lot of failed cannulas and blood tests because my veins, my veins just don't vein. They don't do the job. So I actually decided to have a little bit of breakfast. I brought in my own cereal. Um, so all I needed was milk, but they did give me a cup of tea. And before you know it, there was another person that came back round to try and take more bloods from me and get a cannula in me. But again, it was a failure. At the time we did all this, it was actually lunchtime. So they came round with lunch. I picked an egg sandwich and the dessert was some kind of sponge and custard. I literally had about two mouths of the sponge and custard. I have as much of an appetite as an ant. Basically non-existent. So I had a few mouthfuls of that before the IV team came, who was lovely. I've never met a friendlier team. The IV team were amazing. They did try their best and get a cannula in me and blood. But again, unfortunately, they failed. Unfortunately, my veins failed and just didn't let them. So they said they were going to come back. The ultrasound scanner, which helps find suitable veins because I really needed a cannula for antibiotics as they needed to get antibiotics in me and obviously fluids. So obviously I had to wait for that and while I was waiting for that, my mum picked up a magazine for me and quite literally just sat there popping on bloody lip balm because um, my lips were dry, drier than the Sahara Desert, not fun. And this is where my unhealthy addiction to Voss water began because I found a bottle in M&S and it's all I drank. And then this is where things got really real. And the procedure involved doing a trap with a scan using the laser for the kidney. Yeah. And we go inside and make the stone dust and yeah. take the stones out oh, and leaving a catheter coming out through the kidney yeah, yeah. for two days. Okay, right. And the procedure started from the down. Every, every procedure has its own complication. Uh, infection is possible, yeah. uh, blood uh, loss into transfusion. Um, sometimes, sometimes yeah. we, it's possible that we fail to yeah. so we terminate the position. I can sign here, please. Yeah. Signature, name, and date. Perfect. Everything? Great. That's it. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice to meet you. I'll See, you you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. So yeah, that happened. I sent my mum that video that you've just seen of me telling her that I signed my life away because my mum wasn't with me at the time. Um, and they actually came round with the tea trolley, which is like mid-afternoon, the best time ever. I swear to God, these cup of teas were the best things. This was before I realised they did soy milk. I literally just live on tea, especially in the hospital. I really enjoyed my little tea biscuit breaks. It's the only thing that kept me going. I honestly loved them. A soy milk tea in the hospital, do not underestimate it. This just proves how easily pleased I am because I actually couldn't have been happier. But at this point, I was drinking my tea. I was trying to watch something but for some reason in hospital i found it really hard to wa watch any series or anything i don't know i think because i was in i think because of the curtains i just find it really hard because i'm always scared that someone was going to come in which they did a lot especially on this day at this point it was around five o'clock in the afternoon the lovely man from the iv team came down to see me with his ultrasound machine 
And let me tell you, I wanted to be best friends with this man. He was loving my hair. We had the best hair chats. <laughs> like, it was so nice. He was literally like my best friend. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's your artery. Oh, wow. We, need, we don't need artery. We need veins. Veins, yeah. So, similar that one, but it's not called safety. So, I'm so, I've never seen anything. This is so cool. Can you see? I'm pressing it so. That's it's cool. going up and down, yeah. So it's a sample of that vein. Oh wow! So we're looking for the nice big, bigger than this. Yeah. One. Then we'll put the dressing on. Put near here so you can still oh, bend thank your. You. <laughs> Your arm. I know what you mean, it's a nightmare, isn't it, when you mm -hmm. grab them in your arms? Once they use it, and then if you notice any issue, like yeah. pain, swelling, heaviness of your arm, yeah. always report it. Okay. They shouldn't use it if you have any issue at right. all. Right, yeah, because I think last time Otherwise, it you got tissued, and that's what happened. Finally, after an hour later, we managed to get a cannula in and a blood at the same time. It did take a few prods. But he got there in the end and he was so gentle and caring with me. I've had so many traumatic cannulas and bloods over the years, so he really made the difference and made me a happy girl. Put it in a perfect place in my arm as well because he didn't want it to hurt me. He was amazing. I was very happy girl at this point because it was the relief of having a cannula done. And then it was tea time. Now, this is really weird because tea was a weird one. It was meant to be a three-course meal, but I just had the starter and dessert. All of the main options were stews and I didn't want anything like that. So all I had was vegetable soup with dessert as well, cake and custard. It's a hospital classic at this point. And then once I'd had that, I kind of like chilled with mom. I was hooked up to my IV all night, antibiotics, fluids, and then it was time for bed. I went bed and the next morning was my operation. So make sure to stay tuned. Come back next Sunday because it is the official surgery day. And oh my God, have I got some great clips for you.